My name is Tevin Turbin and I'm the Managing Director of Gate Ventures Group. Try to imagine the size of a kitchen a school would need to feed about 100 to 200 or even to 1,000 children. Some schools just can't afford a facility and definitely would not be able to facilitate giving hot school dinners to those children. So what my business has done is allowed those children to be able to have freshly cooked meals on site daily. I think we're probably one of the only few transport companies that probably spends a lot of money on technology and looking at efficiencies and really focused deeply on the customer, the end user. And as a company, if you don't take that very, very seriously, you'd quickly find yourself at a job centre. Hi, my name is Tom Lavery. I'm the Group Sales Director at Sperity Employee Benefits. We're a global provider of employee benefits programmes and focus on employee discount programmes. And what we actually offer is something that every single person, from the CEO to the janitor in any organisation, can use. We've been running as a business since 2006, and in that time uh, we've gone from a small number of employees, about 10 or 12, to 140 globally. In terms of the next sort of seven years, we're in the right territories. We want to see uh, exponential growth in the US and that's our, going to be a, a big focus for us in that market. We want to maintain our growth in the UK and Australia. I'm James Capel, Managing Director for Simply Waste Solutions. Simply Waste Solutions are a waste management and recycling organisation. As an 18 year old I started in the waste industry when it was little more than collecting waste and delivering it into a hole in the ground and at the point I started Simply Waste I felt there was a need for a business that was better utilising technology, delivering a better level of service to its customers and so my experience in my early days was great grounding to set up Simply Waste um, and do arguably a better job than our competitors do currently. I'm Chris Lima, I'm the Managing Director of Simon Hegel Logistics and Service Limited. We deliver the smallest parts of an MRI scanner to the factory where they're made. Then we deliver and install the MRI scanners into the hospitals. And then we also teach hospital staff how to use the scanners in action. So I am ex-military. When I came into the commercial world it seemed as if the goal was to make more profit. And what we introduced was more of a corporate social side of things. Maybe just a day of an employee's time to work within the community. What we found was the rewards came back tenfold and, and, and many more times over because of the motivation that that member of staff got from helping the community and the, the value he got from that in a sense he brought back into the workplace and we found that that created a lot of return on investment. My name is Rami Ranger. I'm the Chairman and Managing Director of Sunmark Limited and Sea, Air and Land Forwarding Limited. It markets British supermarket products to developing countries, manufactured by the same British companies who sell their own branded product but much more expensive. I owe a debt of gratitude to British sense of tolerance and fair play. As a result, an ordinary immigrant like me could realise his ambition and become an asset for his family and his adopted country. And people respect you when you are achieving success for them and for yourself. My name is Jim Gardner. I'm the Chief Executive Kent Union, which is the Students' Union at the University of Kent. We offer a very broad range of services for students at the university here from a 1700 capacity nightclub to a children's nursery, a welfare advice centre and an FM radio station, 300 different clubs and societies. We're a registered charity but we exist under the umbrella of the public sector. We're funded by the University of Kent to large part but we also run our businesses, nightclubs, shops, bars, catering outlets. Um, so I like the, the discipline of running um, businesses that are competing with the high street, but I like the fact that the profit we make gets plowed back into our charitable activity. And here's someone we couldn't catch up with, Brett Wigdortz. He's been out of the country during the filming for tonight and he's not due back for a while yet. Brett's the CEO of Teach First, a charity set up to train and support people with leadership potential to become teachers in schools in low-income communities across the UK. Trainees join up for six weeks of intensive training before joining one of the partner schools for at least two years to teach 
and to help raise the aspirations of the young people in their classrooms. Hi, I'm Stephen Blatchford, CEO of Blatchfords, which is a family-owned business making artificial limbs and component parts for artificial limbs. Technology's moved on over the past 25 years that I've been in charge of the business. We now make really high-tech products using carbon fibres so they're lightweight, using microprocessor controls so they're very clever and intelligent and react to what the amputee wants, using hydraulics so they adjust appropriately, so using a huge number of different technologies. I think it's really important that I get out and actually see our products in use by amputees, really get a feel for what they're doing and how it improves their lives, that it's a really enriching experience doing that. I'm Timon Colgrove and Managing Director of Hunts Paper and Pixels in Oxfordshire. An exciting marketing business. What we specialise in is showing the soul of the business, whether it be catering, product sales, consultancy, because that's where you really get down to how the company differs from its competitors. Though my formal title is Managing Director, it's really about ambassador and the standard bearer. Mediocrity is simply not good enough in today's business. Even good isn't good enough. We want to be great. My name is Geoffrey Harrison. I'm Chairman and Chief Executive of Harrison Catering Services. Harrison are a food services company feeding people at school and work. We employ 2,700 people and we feed people that we've actually cooked the food fresh on site for. About 100,000 customers a day. We started off with the belief that people actually enjoy food more when it's cooked from fresh ingredients. And we've held to those beliefs all the way through. And if you add to that service with a smile and you do it at a competitive price, you can please quite a lot of customers. I'm Jonathan Neen, Chief Executive, Shepherd Neen. The company brews a range of ales and lagers and we operate 350 pubs, inns and hotels, mainly in Kent but throughout the South East. We are property owners, we are brewers, we're, we're marketeers. There's a whole range of activities that we do. And if, as a member of the family, you don't find an interest in the business, I feel the fault is with you rather than with the business. I think the industry has been going through a cyclical downturn, but if you look five, ten years ahead, which is always the time horizon that we're looking on as a family business, uh, I think there's a great future for a company like ours. My name is Peter Digby, I'm the Managing Director of Xtrack Limited. Xtrack are the world's leading manufacturer of motorsport gearboxes and components for formulas such as Formula One, Le Mans, as well as touring cars and rallying cars. The growth of Xtrack in the future really is going to concentrate on you know, developing new products uh, into new markets. So in particular we'll be looking towards China, uh, but for the new products we'll be looking really to make lighter, more efficient transmissions, especially for the range of hybrid uh, and electric vehicles that are being developed by the world's automotive manufacturers. I'm Guy Whitehead. Uh, I'm the Group Chief Executive Officer of Armour Coat Limited. We are a high-end decorative products group and we export them all over the world. Armour Coat products have been specified by some of the world's most important architects. Recent buildings include the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and the Shard here in uh, London Bridge. Our aim is to grow our global presence and to establish ourselves as the market leader in decorative plasters and casting panel systems. My name's Hugh Griffiths and I'm the Chief Executive of uh, an aviation business called Inspire Limited that does uh, a great deal of training for um, the British Army, uh, the Royal Air Force, the Royal Navy and for military customers around the world. We are a rapidly growing business. Uh, we've been around for about five or six years. I think that within about another three or four years we'll have probably doubled in size and our aim is to take advantage of the growing market for highly knowledgeable former military aircrew for delivering high-end training to military and civilian customers. So the future I think is fantastic and I'm very, very optimistic about it.
I'm Michael Infanti, I'm the CEO of One Media IP. One Media IP is effectively a music and video library. We're worldwide delivering to 600 stores or more in the digital world of, of music and media. Most record labels would have a department doing what we do. We are a specialist net label. What we do is deliver to uh, a hub which delivers to all the stores. So we're content suppliers. Our content is going right the way through to all of the stores available 24-7 throughout the year. I'm Lisa Clayton, I'm the Avenue Managing Director. Avenue provide private sector leasing homes to local authorities. We work with 26 local authorities across South East London, Kent and Sussex. The most important thing is making sure that we provide absolutely excellent customer service to all our customers. We support our residents as much as we can in sustaining a tenancy. We support our landlords through looking after their biggest asset, which is homes. We house around 600 families every year, and our mission is to keep doing that and help as many people as we can. Hi, I'm Paul Lindley. I'm Chief Executive and Founder of Ella's Kitchen, and I'm also Ella's dad. Ella's Kitchen's a brand of organic baby and children's foods. We've brought together a brand around my family and our experiences that we thought other people would find relevant to them and I found that the industry was very functional uh, when I set up Ella's Kitchen. There's only certain ways that any company can grow so we look to get more customers, we look to try and get new products, to go to new markets and to be a more efficient company by recycling our cash so that we can invest more in our innovation and our consumer facing uh, properties position. I'm Paul Broadhurst, Founder and Chief Executive of Technetics Group. Technetics designs and manufactures equipment used on broadband cable networks for carrying the signals through to the customer homes. The thing that makes us stand out is that we work very, very hard to understand our customers' problems and we devise unique solutions which stretch the life of their existing network to the full rather than selling standard products from a catalogue. I'm Stephen Griggs and uh, I'm the Principal and Chief Executive of Mid-Kent College. Mid-Kent College is a further education college, but in addition to that, we provide all of the training for the Royal School of Military Engineering next door, and that's a £17 million a year contract that we run. I started here age 16 as an apprentice bricklayer, and I did my first degree here as well. I benefited personally hugely from the experience that I had here, and my mission, if you like, as the Principal Chief Exec, is to do the same for the students who are coming here. My name is Rami Ranger. I'm the Chairman and Managing Director of Sunmark Limited and Sea, Air and Land Forwarding Limited. Sunmark Limited markets British supermarket products to developing countries, exactly the same product which they buy in branded products, but without all the added cost of advertising, marketing, distribution. We only succeed when our customers succeed. Our staff is well trained, they understand, that they have to work for the success of their customer. People make profit while buying. If the buying is right, the selling is right. <music> <music>